Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to use NVDA to perform a Google search. Just in case you're unfamiliar with NVDA and screen readers, let me just introduce them. NVDA is a free screen reader. A screen reader is a great piece of software that gives computers, smartphones and tablets a voice in order to help people who have a visual impairment or who are blind access those devices more independently. I have created other videos about the screen reader NVDA and I've grouped them together in a playlist which I will link to below. A piece of technical information is that I'm recording this video on a laptop running Windows 10 and my version of NVDA is 2016.1. The process should be the same if you're using Windows 7 or, or Windows 8 and if you're using a different version of NVDA as long as it is fairly recent. So let's turn NVDA on. I press the Windows key and the D key in order to access my desktop. I press the N key to select NVDA and then I press enter. Folder view list. NVDA 5 of 9. Open up the browser that you use most frequently. I will use Firefox. I open it by pressing the F key. FS Reader 3.0 F. F. M. Mozilla Firefox 4 of 9. Sorry, the N, the M key. And then I press enter. Mozilla Firefox start page. Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox start page. If you're not already on Google, press the control and the L key together in order to focus on the address bar. Navigation toolbar toolbar. Search your enter address combo box collapsed. Edit has autocomplete. Blank. Now D let's type in W, comma, comma. Dot G O O O O G L E dot dot c o dot uk mozilla firefox search combo box collapsed has autocomplete editable blank google should load and your cursor should be in the search bar if it's not just press enter now type in your shirt your search query i will type in world war two World War II Google search busy. Collapsed link Google apps. Link sign in. Search landmark heading level 1 link graphic Google. Button Google search. Edit World War II. A Google results page like a great many other web pages contains lots of information and it can be quite intimidating to the novice NVDA user. A Google results page loads and as it's doing that NVDA repeats what your search is. Ours is World War II. It also tells you about other important content on the page, that there's a claps link for Google Apps and a link to sign in. It then tells us search landmark heading 1 link graphic Google button Google search edit World War II. That's a lot of information so let us go through it bit by bit. The claps link icon is in the top right hand corner. And for our sighted Google viewers, it's there. Slash slash w it's for the Google Apps, the different parts of Google, such as Google Drive and Maps. The link to sign in is next to it sign in. in the top right hand corner, and that's where you sign into your Google account. The, the Google graphic Google HTTPS. and the search Google bar. Google are in the top left hand corner and it tells us to edit World War 2 because that is our search and if at this point we were to press the enter key the cursor would appear in the box and we can change our search term but I'm not going to do that. Now each Google results page contains 10 results. To get to the first result press your H key two or three times like so 
Main landmark search result World War I, I Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia link heading level 3. The first result is from Wikipedia, and so the heading for this result is read out. The H key moves from one heading on the page to the next. Each result is composed of three elements. A heading that we've just had, had read out, and it's a description of a web page in relation to our search. A link to the web page and a 20 to 30 word extract from the web page. If you just want to move quickly between the different results, then you can keep pressing the H key and NVDA will check out the heading, will read out the heading for each result like this. BBC Primary History World War II Link Heading Level 3 BBC History World War II Link World War II WW2 for kids primary homework help link heading level 3. If however you want to find out more about the link and the extract for each result then after you get to result that you want to explore press the down arrow once and the link will be read out www.primarihomeworkhelp.co.uk slash britain.html menu button collapsed sub menu result details world and then you press the down arrow key once more to hear the 20 to 30 word extract. For six years from 1939 to 1945 Britain fought the toughest war it had ever experienced. If you want to visit the web page of a particular result, then you press the enter key after you have pressed the H key, like so. World War II link heading level 3. Visited. World War II busy. Visited link graphic World War II. List with 13 items visited link home link countries link weapons link cash. World War II. A web page will only load if the heading of the result is the focus on. It will not load if you are focused on the link or the extract. So if I use my down arrow, main landmark world war two dot info slash menu button collapsed so I'm now focused on the link and if I was to press enter at this point it wouldn't load. Also, if you've accidentally skipped past a result by pressing the H key too many times, then you can also move backwards through each heading by pressing Shift and H together. World War II visited link head World War II dub BBC history w BBC primary his World War I, I Wikipedia the free encyclopedia link head and by pressing the shift and H key it moves me backwards through the headings of each result now sometimes we need to look at the next results page for our sighted users, we would go to the bottom of the page where there is the Google logo with lots of letter O's in it, and below are some numbers, page numbers of different results. The best way to, to get to these different pages using NVDA is to press the insert key and the F7 key together. Elements list dialog, tree view, level zero, World War I, I Wikipedia which loads the elements menu and then we press the alt key and the d key together type grouping landmarks radio button checked alt plus d which gives us the landmarks press the tab key tree view main 3 of 4 level 0 until it says preview and now press your down arrow Navigation 404 level 0 until NVDA says navigation and nothing else. Press the enter key at this point. World navigation landmark 1 page 2 link page 3 link page 4 link page 5 link page 6 link page. And you can hear that Google's telling us about all the different page links. 
press your right arrow until NVDA says out of link link P out of link link 2 which is the page 2 of results link World War 2 Google search Mozilla Firefox World War 2 Google search busy collapsed link Google Apps now at this point if you press the enter key page 2 of the Google results for World War 2 will load. If you want to load the results in a separate tab then you press World War 2 Google search document then you press the control key and the enter key and the results are loaded in a separate pack tab World, World War 2 Google search then on the new results page press the H key two or three times in order to get to the first result and then just repeat the instructions that I've already get given you might want to watch or listen to this video a few times in order to in order to grow your confidence because there is a lot of information to absorb. Remember if you have any questions or difficulties after watching this video or want to join in with the discussion please do so be uh, below. How do you use NVDA to navigate a Google results, results page? Let me know. Thank you for watching.